Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of my system setup that I use for home theater. But today we're going to be discussing the Laserdisc end of it. And as you can see, there's a lot of components here. We've got floor standing speakers. These are for the two amplifiers. We have two subwoofers. These are for the two amplifiers. And then of course, Towards the rear, I've got all the surround sound channels. So today we're going to be discussing my current setup for the Laserdisc format. And we have something that is devoted to just that. Welcome to the star of the show, Ankyo Integra TX. SV919THX is a THX certified amplifier that features Dolby Surround ProLogic. This set of surround sound protocols is perfect for the Laserdisc format as most of the titles have been released in the Dolby Surround format. This system also has a unique feature. You can add an external AC3 digital Dolby Digital decoder to it. The Rotel Digital Surround Adapter RDA980 is an AC3 RF digital surround sound processor. Pioneer DVL700 Combination CD, CDV, LaserDisc, Digital Video Versatile Disc Player. Yes, this one plays DVDs as well as LaserDiscs. And it also features another very important important component attached to it. Behind the Laserdisc player is an AC3 RCA jack that is tied directly to the Rotel RDA980. This sound is quite impressive when it reproduces it. And might I say the THX Laserdiscs in this are quite impressive. Pioneer CLD97 Elite Reference CD CDV Laserdisc Player. This truly is the superstar of the show as the picture quality and the audio reproduction is at another level altogether. The standard Dolby Surround soundtracks are reproduced with crisp, clean audio. And of course, the THX Laserdiscs are in another category altogether. But unfortunately, it's vi it's around vintage 1993 and it does not have an AC3 out feature at all. It does have a optical cable out and a coax cable out feature as well. This was purchased recently, as you can see, the bottom cover is missing and I did not have the original remote but I have the remote control from another unit that works with it to perfection. And now a word about the Pioneer Elite CLD 97 player. Yes, the video reproduction is awesome, but it also serves as a reference CD player, which means it's higher end than a standard CD player. And my experience with it thus far has been kind, kind of a revelation. I've put in a couple analog tracks on it that have disappointed. And then I've put in a couple digital master discs that have uh, raised some eyebrows and given me a little bit more awareness of this. Now I understand what audiophiles are talking about on when they're playing back vinyl and it transfers over to, to, to compact disc as well. You have some recordings that just aren't so good and you have some other recordings that are the ones you demonstrate to other people. Attached to the receiver is this for my center channel, a Pioneer center channel that I picked up for nothing. And then over here, that's the second surround sound channel that's attached to the unit down below, but let's get over to here, which is But let's get over to here, which is the floor standing speakers. And the large one 
is some JBL floor standing speakers that I've gotten to it, and right next door is the subwoofer that is attached to the system. In order to get this to work, I had to do something quite unique, which was I had to find the right cables to put in there. As you can see, I had these two line outs, and then it goes to the back of the system in a single cable. Media Bridge made this cable. It's available on Amazon.com. You can see I got a lot of wires back there. And that's my next deal is to actually clean up the wires that I have here. I, it's just too much of a mess. I've had to reorganize the system at least three times, and I'm still in the process of trying to get it to where it's all cleaned up. And then the other thing to add on here is with the DVL 700 and as well with the CVLD 97, we have used monster cable interconnects. And these are the THX cables that are behind the unit. We've got the two audio cables. And then of course over here we've got the, the standard video RCA jack. And then you have the YC connector, the S video jack. And of course I've got the optical cable back there, but that's for a different connection altogether. That is actually not uh, much needed as the standard RCA jacks for it. Behind the system are these two bookshelf speakers that are used for the surround sound channels. I have two matching one, and of course the second one is located right there. Also of equal note, the entire system is set up using banana jack cables, very similar to what we're seeing here. So all the speakers use banana jack connections. There is not one wire speaker being used. They're all banana jacks, top and bottom. And as you can see, if we go back here, a little bit behind them, there they are. There's my speaker cables. And even the surround sound speakers are also available in there. And then you can see the blue cable is the optical connection that is connected to the DBL 700. And then of course, as I can see, you can see here again, and it's quite noticeable, the silver connections are all the monster THX cables that are attached to the receiver from the laser displayers. And the blue ones are devoted to the tape deck functions.